Hello. Our topic for today's lesson is data presentation. You need five minutes to complete this lesson. Let's check out the lesson objectives. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to 1. Prepare a frequency table. 2. Know the pictorial representation of data. And 3. Know the histogram representation of data. Please pay attention as we go through the lesson together. Frequency table. Frequency refers to the number of times an item occurs in a raw data. A frequency table is a table that lists items and show the number of times the items occur. We represent the frequency by the English alphabet, F. Below is the score of 30 students in a mathematics test. The record of data above can be prepared in a frequency table using a tally. This is a frequency table representing the above data. For instance, the number 10 occurred three times. Therefore, the frequency of 10 is 3. Note that, by tally, we mean using strokes to represent the number of times each item occurs. Note that, every fifth stroke is drawn across the preceding four to make a bundle for easy counting. That's brilliant. Pictorial representation of data. A frequency table is the numerical representation of data in an organized summary form. Diagrams, symbols, and pictures are sometimes used to represent these data. Hence, they are more eye-catching and tells the stories more easily than numbers. The pictorial representations of data may include 1. Pictogram 2. Bar chart 3. Line graph 4. Pie chart and 5. Histogram That's brilliant! Now, let's study these representations. Pictogram A pictogram is a chart or graph which uses pictures to represent data in a simple way. Below is a pictogram representation of data. The pictogram is also called a pictograph. That's brilliant! Bar charts A bar chart is a chart or graph that presents data with rectangular bars. Below is a bar chart representation. The following features must be considered when drawing a bar chart. 1. The chart must consist of bars, and the bars must be of equal widths. 2. The spaces between the adjacent bars must be equal. 3. The heights or lengths of the bars must be proportional to the values that they represent. The bars can be plotted vertically or horizontally. A bar chart is sometimes called a bar graph or a column chart. That's brilliant! Line graph A line graph is a bar chart with the bars replaced by straight lines. Below is a line graph. We plot line graphs using several points connected by straight lines. We also call it a line chart. The line graph comprises of two axes known as x-axis and y-axis. The horizontal axis is known as the x-axis. The vertical axis is known as the y-axis. That's brilliant! Pie charts A pie chart is a type of graph that displays data in a circular graph. 
Below is a pie chart. The pieces of the graph are proportional to the fraction of the whole in each category. In other words, each slice of the pie is relative to the size of that category in the group as a whole. The entire pie represents 100% of the whole, while the pie slices represent portions of the whole. That's brilliant! Histogram A histogram is a graphical representation of a frequency distribution. It is like the bar chart, which consists of a set of rectangles. Below is a histogram representation of data. The following features must be considered when drawing a histogram. 1. In histogram, the rectangles are joined together such that they have common boundaries. 2. The areas of the rectangles are proportional to the class frequency and have their bases at the horizontal axis. Note that the horizontal axis represents the variables being represented, while the vertical axis represents the frequencies. That's brilliant! Assignment Pause the video, copy the following assignments, and write the answers in your notebook. In summary, we have learned the following in this lesson. 1. How to prepare a frequency table. 2. The pictorial representation of data. And, 3. The histogram representation of data. I believe you enjoyed this lesson, see you in our next one. Thanks. And goodbye.